What would you say to people who are growing a team, you know, to those decision makers, the leadership team, what would you say to them, you know, as they're growing their team and how to position themselves as a mentor to the people that they're bringing on to their team? I think the most important thing when you're building a team is making sure every single person is on the same page with what is our mission, who are we helping, or who is our audience, and just how are we going to keep narrowing that down and hammering that down. If there's any question about what are we actually doing, like there should be just no question about that because the more the stronger that mission is, and then everyone can just kind of get on board with that and be a united front and working towards that. When people are confused and unclear, then I think teams are just not strong like that. So that's, that would be like the first thing with building a team. Yeah, that's great. Are there experiences that you have had in your time in service and in the military? Are there things that you have learned that have specifically, that could be specifically applied to growing a business and, or growing a team? I think when you're building a team and you're in charge of building the team, the most simple but difficult thing for the leader to do is simply be there, just being present. It's so easy to get so bogged down with the administrative tasks and the, you know, paperwork and the responding to emails and being behind the computer all day and trying to build your business from that standpoint where your people need to see your face and hear your voice. And it's, something that just gets lost pretty easily. So whenever you have a leader who just isn't there, then they're not a leader and they lose credibility and then your team isn't as strong. So I think pulling yourself out from behind your desk, getting in front of your people, communicating regularly, checking in on them, getting to know them from a personal standpoint, those are all things that I recommend for a business. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. Company culture and people are some of the most important things that we actually talk to our clients about. Even though we're bringing them on to learn about marketing, we tell them all the time that having clear communication within the team, having, you know, everyone's feet on the ground where you guys are, like you said, clear on the mission and the vision. We understand who we're serving and we are getting to know each other on a personal level. That's, that's a huge part of making sure that you have a, a healthy company culture. One of the things I love about Contractor Dynamics is um, we are remote, which is great because there's flexibility there in terms of our schedules and where we work and that sort of thing. Um, Nice to be able to, you know, walk out of the office and make a cup of coffee. However, it can be really difficult to foster a really strong company culture when everyone is completely remote. But we found that getting to know each other on a really personal level has given us a, a way to have like really clear communication We're all, you know, very fond of each other. We're able to have some more transparency and work through some of those sticky issues because, again, we're getting to to know each other on a personal level. On the mentorship side, in the situation where you were mentored, how close, like, were you guys only talking about, you know, career path or did you guys get close in terms of, like, what's going on in your personal life as well? Definitely personal life where... I remember having a conversation with my mentor and I felt because he would share very personal things about his life. So therefore I felt comfortable sharing what I was struggling with in my personal life. And, you know, in the military, it's very, you know, rank this. So he's a Lieutenant Colonel at the time and I'm a junior captain at the time. And so just that, those, you know, that rank difference makes someone hesitant to let their guard down because, you know, we just need to be tough and show no emotions all the time. But he literally would say like, Jackie, I'm being Billy right now. Like, don't like take this, take my rank off of the table or, you know, take it off. So also that would show, okay, like we're, I'm in a safe place to talk to this person. I remember having conversations where I was, you know, saying what I'm struggling with my personal life. And he would literally say, I know I'm not your father, but like, if you were my daughter, this is what I would recommend to you. So he literally put himself in the shoes of like my dad, you know, and cared for me at that level. And I felt so truly cared for by that person from a 
personal standpoint, not even including all the career guidance that he would give. He's also a logistics officer. So he was, you know, had been in the Marine Corps for 28 years and had seen it all in that aspect as well. But him literally saying to me, I'm not your dad, but this is what I would tell you if you were my daughter. Like, I'll never forget that, that conversation I had. Mm-hmm.